Hello, in this video I'm going to solve a problem for you on the topic of trigonometric identities. Let us read the question together first. Uh, prove the following identity. 1 over cosine x to power 6 minus 3 tan x to power 2 divided by cosine x to power 2 equals to 1 plus tan x to power 6. That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this point and try to solve the problem yourself first. Okay, now let us go to the board and solve the problem. Um, in order to prove this, of course, might be there are different ways to tackle the problem. You might want to change tan to uh, sine and cosine and try to manipulate a little bit the left hand side to see that if you can reach to the other side. But when I see that the right hand side is only involved with tangent x, I would prefer to write everything in terms of tangent, of course, if possible. And it is possible in this case if you just remember a very famous trigonometric identities from your studies. So let me just uh, remind you about that. So everyone knows that sine x squared plus cosine x squared is 1. Yes? So if cosine x is not 0, and I'm allowed to divide everything by cosine x squared here. So I divide this by cosine x squared. Sine x squared divided by cosine x squared will give me tangent x squared. Cosine x squared divided by cosine x squared itself is 1. So this becomes plus 1. And the right-hand side becomes 1 over cosine x squared. So that is the identity that I want to recommend you if you want to be good in solving trigonometric problems. That is also famous. So, but of course, this is the very basic one, the fundamental one, but that's also somehow very useful. So 1 plus 10 x to the power of 2 is 1 over cosine x to power 2. So I want to use this identity here. How? So I start from the left hand side and actually rewrite this a little bit differently. So I would write it as 1 over cosine to x squared and then totally to power 3. Yes, because this becomes exactly the same expression. What is the motive behind that? Because I just realized that 1 over cosine x to power 2 uh, can be written in terms of tangent and that is good because the right hand side only involves with tangent. Okay, good. And instead of writing this in this form, I would write it as minus 1 over cosine x squared multiplied by 3 tan x squared. Yes, that's also the same. Because if I have a fraction a over b, I can write it as 1 over b times a. So I just rewrote it in this form. Again, the motivation is clear. Because 1 over cosine x squared, using this formula, can be written only in terms of tangent. Okay, so I will do the same thing now. Instead of 1 over cosine x squared x, here and there, I use that formula. So this becomes 1 plus tan x squared, instead of 1 over cosine x squared, and then to power 3. And then instead of that one, I don't just do write the same thing. So 1 plus tan x squared. Of course, instead of tan x squared plus 1, I wrote 1 plus tan x squared. And then multiplied by 3 times tan x squared. So if you don't mind, let's put the 3 here and the tan x here. Tan x squared here. Okay. Uh, so, what I want to do now, uh, I can expand this expression. That's also a famous uh, algebraic identity. So, if you have a plus b to the third, 
you already probably have uh, the second one in your memory, a plus b to the power of 2, but a plus b to the power of 3 is also there always in the formula sheets, and so you, you, this is the formula. So this becomes a to the 3, the first one cubed, 3 times the first one squared, the second one, plus 3 times the first one times the second one squared, and then plus the last one cubed, the second one cubed. So I will do the same thing here. So I will give the role of A to this. I will give the role of B to this. So this gives me the first one cubed, which is 1 again, 3 times the first one squared, which is still th 3 times 1 to power 2, which is 3, times the second one, this becomes 3 tan x squared, plus 3 times the first one itself, but multiplied by the second one squared. So this becomes 3 tan x to the power of 4. And finally, the last one to the power of 3, which gives me 10 x to the power of 6. This is the expansion of the first part. And then I expand that one as well. So I multiply a minus 3 from the left and a 10 is squared from the right. Then I will get minus 3 10 is squared x. And then I multiply these in. So this becomes minus 3 10 x to the 4. And then everything uh, cancelled out. That is not uh, Everything that's not necessary is actually cancelled out. You see this one and that one are cancelled, this one and that one are cancelled. So what is left for me is just 1 plus 10x to the power of 6. So the answer is 1 plus 10x to power 6, and that is exactly equal to the right. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.